here we are tonight, today, uh, in the this morning, Toby. yeah, this morning, and um, you know we're at the Muskie tournament here. Uh, Muskies are playing Burlington right now, uh, trailing two to one. Just got underway. Nice little serve there, and that's out. Bodie lets it go out, so Muskie's tied up two to two. Uh, I believe that's Jansen serving. Is that right, Jansen serving? Yep. Yes, it is. Yeah. Back over. Oh, a little bit of bad luck there off that net. Bodie was there. I think if it would have came clean instead of coming off the net like that, Bodie would have been just fine. But uh, that net coming off the net like that made it kind of an awkward angle for her. <clears throat> On court number two, we have West Liberty versus Durant. Little River Valley Conference matchup over there. Seaman to Seaman. Nice little push there. And we got a illegal hit there. She didn't, she hit with like two hands, like you gotta have the both hands hit the ball at the same time and she had a, where it went like one, two and you can't do that. So uh, Muskies get a point there. I believe the scoreboard is wrong. Go up for the block, Seaman tries to get it. They get it over. Substitution for the so, Greyhounds. This one? That scoreboard down there is ours, yeah. That's, something's not right with that scoreboard because there's... I don't know why that one... Zillig, nice. Good hustle there. Schroeder. A lot of good work there. Good back row there. Play by Zillig gets up. And that's in. If she gets up, she's got a lot of power. So, so now it's three to three. Yeah, that scoreboard, or four to three. That scoreboard down there is ours. Because they always do opposites. So four to four now they have for a score. Boy, the scoreboard's. <laughs> A little bit behind right now. That's out on the serve. So Burlington takes a 5-4 lead. Nice little Schroeder up. Another basic free ball. And then they get a point out of it. So it's five to five now. Schroeder back to serve for the Muskies. Just a little dinker. That's unusual out of her. They go cross court and find that hole. Nice shot there by Burlington. Six five lead for the Greyhounds. A lot of back and forth in this one. On the other court, we have a four to four, five to four lead for, I believe, I think that's Durant ahead. Seaman to Jansen, and that one carries out. So Durant does have a six to four lead over West Liberty down there. Zillig has one go off her arms wrong. Schroeder right there. Seaman giving up the free ball to Burlington here. Good by Seaman gets blocked. So Burlington takes a six to four lead. or eight to five lead, my bad. Schroeder, Jansen, out. They just can't find their shots right now. I wonder if it's uh, early morning jitters or, and Muskie's call timeout to regroup here. Mm -hmm. 
nine to five lead here for Burlington. On the other court, it's eight five. Durant over West Liberty. Maynard out there now for the Muskies. Nice little tip there, trying to find a hole. Seaman. That's out, there we go. Got a side out there, making it nine to six. Zillig serving for the Muskies. Got Zillig, Schroeder, Seaman, Seaman, Jansen, and uh, Maynard out there. Jansen, up. Oh, nice work there. S by Jansen to get the point. Nice kill. Making it seven to nine. Zillig back to serve again. Good serve, great spot, really good spot there. Found a nice little spot to put that. Eight to nine, fighting our way back here. Ah, just tried to put it in a different spot and just carried it a little bit too far. Rams are coming in for Zillig to play the back row. So is it 9-8 or 10-8? Jansen up. Seaman. Nice little kill there by Seaman. As she gets older, the better she's going to get. That's that's the thing. I mean, it, it's scary that, you know, I mean, she's a freshman, still trying to catch up to her body, I think, a little bit. And as she gets more control of her body, as she gets older, she's going to be pretty good. We've got a net violation there by Burlington, tying it up at 10 now. Muskie's got a little bit of momentum. Let's see if they can keep it here. Bodie to serve. Good serve by Bodie. There you go. Great work, Schroeder, and Seaman with a nice little tip to get the points, making it 11 to 10, Muskies now. Bodie serving again. Just a bit deep, good idea, trying to put it behind the back row and just didn't quite get there. Ramser, good little set to Seaman here. Tried to tip it, and they were there to block it. Kind of hung there, the Burlington girls did in, to block that. We have a question here by the coach from Burlington. That's fine. Rams are deep. Seaman to Jansen and it gets blocked out of bounds. So stops the uh, bleeding there and got a good side out. Serving now will be Jansen. Big swing there, good save by Jansen. 
Schroeder, cross court. We got a net violation. Muskie's point, making it 13 to 12. Jansen back there serving. Nice serve. That's gonna be tough. Yep, point. Set was over a little bit too far and it was hard for her to get an angle on it. 14-12 Muskies. On the other court, it's 15-9 Durant. Burlington, there's a free ball for us. Schroeder up and tried to go oh, with it. And there's some things that I think they're just trying to be too cute. And just, you know, dinking and dunking. I think maybe go back to slamming that home. I mean, Avery's really, really, really good at doing that. And 14 13, and Seaman to Seaman. Nice work there. Good little back set. So we got a 15-13 lead here for the Muskies. Mm, nice swing there. Got a good game going, 15-14 here. Good there by Schroeder, back to Schroeder. Come down hard, babe. She's just not swinging hard. Nice, good work. Zillig, that's in. Zillig. Got a timeout by Burlington with a 16 to 14 lead here for the Muskies. Bounce over here to the other court. Durant is just cruising right now over West Liberty, 19 to 11. I don't know what's going, I mean the Comets are the seventh ranked team in the state and they're just, I don't know, something's not clicking for them today. Nice little tip there by Morrison for West Liberty to get him a point and stop the bleeding a little bit. 19 to 12 though, we, I think we only played at 21. Only played at 21, right? Yeah. 21, can't remember. Okay folks, um, Muskies with a 16-14 lead. Seaman back there serving. Got a substitution, Maynard in for Bodie. Seaman to serve. A little, it's gonna be hard for Burlington to get it over. We got a free ball here, Zillig, Seaman. Schroeder trying to be cute again. We got a 16-15 now. Seaman to Zillig, good work. Great, great way to see the court there. I mean, just really good way to see it for Zillig. She read it perfect, put it in a great spot. 17-15. Now musky lead. Oh, 
That was a good shot right there, finding a hole there in the back row. 17-16, back and forth we go. So now we got Zillig, Schroeder, Seaman, Jansen, Seaman, and Maynard out there. Back to Zillig, Seaman. Yep, that's a net violation. Got it a little bit too hard up ahead. 18-17 now. Oh, we got net violation on Burlington. My bad. 18-16. So Zillig back to serve. Got a substitution issue here by Burlington. I don't know for sure what... So Libero coming in for Burlington. Zillig back to serve. Muskies do lead 18 to 16 here. Nice little serve there by Zillig. Offer, offer, it just was perfect because the bump was, the bump was just off a little bit. So Burlington takes a timeout here. Muskies kind of getting back to form here. got a timeout and we got a situation on the other court where got a s substitution issue okay now that's under control down there and Durant and Wesley subbing out so Durant won game one over there over West Liberty I believe it was 21 to 13 yeah, because we only played to 21 today, so, in tournament play. There's a great serve, great serve. Free ball, Seaman. To Seaman with a great little quick, Seaman with a diving save. Jansen to Zillig, whoa, what? Substitutions, Ramser for Zillig. 19-17. We need a side out here, girls. Come on. So we got Ramser, Schroeder, Seaman, Seaman, Jansen, good hit there. 1918. A lot of back and forth here. It seems like one team's going to pull away and then the other team claws back in. Good little dig there by Seaman. Jansen got up. And we'll have kind of a free ball. Schroeder, Seaman, Jansen. Oh, I thought maybe she found a hole there. Ooh, we got a miss hit there. Double hit. Violation by Burlington. Giving the point to the Muskies. Here we are at game point, 20 to 18. And Bodie to serve. Bodie, Ramser, Schroeder, Jansen, and the Seaman sisters out there on the court for the Muskies. That's out. Muskies win game one, 21 to 18. So that's a good way to start your home tournament out, winning game one, 21 to 18. And of course, there's a little bit of a break here in between games. So give us a chance to uh, kind of go over what's happening today. Uh, Muskies are hosting their own tournament here this morning, starting out this morning. Uh, I believe they're, they play five, four games, five games. Um, you know, they, they'll rotate 
each team will rotate around. Um, there will be at least uh, – you'll get one break. You should get, like, one break in between – yeah, in between game. So you'll play, like, two and then uh, get a break and then play two more, I believe, is how they're going to do it. Down on the other court, we got a three to two match down there. West Liberty and Durant. Good block there. Ah, uh, set was off a little bit there for the Comets. You know, West Liberty Comets versus the Durant Wildcats. River Valley Conference matchup over there. Durant leads four to two. So I believe the Muskies are the only 5A school here. A lot of 3A and 2As. Six two lead now for Durant. Now we're back here on court number one, I'm gonna call it, with the Muskies. <laughs> After winning game one, 21 to 18, let's see if they can keep this momentum going. Started out just a skosh slow and then they came back strong and Got rolling and did a lot of good things there for that first game. So out there now we have Bodie, Ramser, and Schroeder in the back row. In the front row we have Jansen and the two Seaman sisters. Burlington to serve. Schroeder gets underneath it. Seaman. And that's... that's I think that's the hardest thing for them right now is they're they're trying to figure out how to get their their sets right. You know, I mean, it's just off enough. There's Seaman cross court to Jansen who scores. There we go, one to one. Good spot there for Jansen to find a hole. Serving Jansen now. Nice, good serve. Another set that's off just a little bit for Burlington. So that'll make it two to one West Liberty. Or I mean, uh, Muscatine. My fault, folks. Muskies serving again is Jansen. And that's gonna be tough for Burlington to get out. Schroeder with a good set to Seaman to Seaman. And when that comes down like that, that's, that's hard. I mean, Seaman rocketed that thing. Jansen still serving. Bodie in the back row with her. Got it just a little bit too deep there. Good idea to try to put it right behind that back row, but just carried a little bit too far. Good there by Bodie. Over to Schroeder. I wonder if something's wrong with her shoulder or because she's just not coming down. And that one carried out. So it's a three to three match now. There you go, Jansen, good spot. Little back row hit. Man, she smoked that. 
You don't see that very often out of the back row when they can hit like that out of the back row. That's impressive. Good there by Jansen. Little quick set by Seaman to Seaman. Another set that's a little bit off. Ramser comes and gets it. Schroeder tries to bump it over. Seaman with a good save to Seaman to Schroeder. Seaman, ooh, nice little back set there. Caught Burlington sleeping. Got a free ball here. Seaman, yeah. And the set was just a little bit too far off and she couldn't come around and just smoke that thing. She smoked it, but it smoked it out of bounds. <laughs> So, 5-3. Yeah, something's got to be bothering Schroeder there because she's just not coming down hard like she normally does. Good bump set there, Seaman. Seaman, nice! Found that spot in that back row to make it 5-4, to four, Muskies. Coming in is Zillig for Ramser. Get that height in that front row. Oh, nice serve. Seaman, Seaman. Schroeder gets blocked. Zilla gets up, tries to put one in the hole there, and the libero for Burlington comes over nice. Got one off the hands there, so it makes it 6-4 Burlington. Nice job there by Schroeder. Seaman finds a hole. Nice serve there by Seaman. Zillig with a great Back row hit for Seaman, that's in. Nice, 6-6. Six, six. So right now we got Seaman and Jansen and that's out. Seaman served carry just too far on the old service error there. Making it six, seven. Back and forth game here. So we got Seaman, Schroeder, and Jansen in the back row. In the front row, we got Zillig, Seaman, and Maynard. Seaman back set to Zillig. Good idea there by Burlington, but Seaman was there. Zillig coming down just not quite there, 8-6 now. Just out. Timing was a little bit off. Seaman good back roads. Why is that? She carried it, okay. You could have used that the other night. Nine six lead here for Burlington. Good Seaman. There you go, Schroeder trying to find that hole there. Free ball for Burlington, and then they can't get it over. So it's nine seven now. Schroeder to serve. Great serve. This will be a free ball for the Muskies. Schroeder, 
Seaman Jansen. Good job there by Schroeder to get that. Jansen again. Oh, that was kind of weird how it went off of Zillig and then right into Maynard and down. 10-7 <laughs> now, Burlington. Over to Jansen, who comes down hard on that one. Really good shot there. So Zillick back to serve. Little nice little spot to put that, nine to 10. Zillick back to serve again. Just carried another, but Rams are coming in after Zillick serves. So it's 11 to nine Burlington here with Ramser, Schroeder, Seaman, Seaman, Jansen, and Maynard. She's still in there. Good job, Schroeder. Seaman finds a hole that, I mean, for a freshman to see the court like that, I, that kid amazes me. So now we're at 10, 11. Bodie in for Maynard to serve. Great serve. Nice by Ramser there over to Jansen off the tip. Back row by Schroeder. Nice to move over. Ah! Back row hit. Good by Ramser. Ah, just off the set there into the net, so that makes it 12-10. Serve, Schroeder, Seaman back set to Jansen, but no point there. Bodie, Seaman, Seaman, that's in. That's a point for the Muskies, 11 to 12. Serving now is Jansen. Ooh, she went up like she's gonna hit with her right hand. Nice. Good recovery there by Schroeder. The set was a little bit off and she still found a way to get it over. There we go. Nice point there off the block. 12 to 12 for the Muskies. Great serve. Ramser, oh, little Seaman almost got a, caught Burlington napping. Seaman to Seaman! Muskies take the lead, 13 to 12. Jansen tried to dink it over and just caught the front of the net and back down to the musky side. So makes it 14 or 13 all. Burlington to serve. There's a, there it is. There's a Schroeder coming alive, 14, 13. Zillig coming in for Ramser. Seaman back to serve. Tip 
tipped. Seaman Schroeder. It's going to be a free ball. Come on. I don't know how that was. What was wrong with that? Seaman. Seaman. Oh, looked like the libero from Burlington slipped a little bit there. Good work there. Schroeder. There it is. 15-14 Muskies. On the other court, we have a 16-16 match between West Liberty and Durant. And we got a timeout by Burlington. Bounce over to the West Liberty one here. Oh. So back at it here on our side, hopefully uh, here pretty quick. Oh, somebody almost got hurt down there diving for a ball. Wayne Wright down there for West Liberty, knocks one down. Okay, back over here, we got Burlington and the Muskies. Uh, Muskie's up 15-14 and still serving with Seaman serving. Seaman Jansen, Seaman Zillig, Maynard, and Schroeder out there. Good dig there by Seaman. Back row hit for Jansen. And they Burlington tried to tip it over and get it in behind the block, but it caught the front of the net and knocked it down. Good serve by Seaman there, making it 18 to 14. Or 17, 14, I thought it was. Another really good serve by Seaman there. Found a, that's out. 18-14. Seaman in. A serve for Seaman. Making it 19-14. Two points away from winning this game. So, Durant takes out the Comets 21 to 19 and a complete sweep of the Comets. So, that game is over. The Muskies are two points away from doing the same thing here. Ooh, hurry. Nice work. Way to not give up on it. Nice there by Seaman. Seaman over to Schroeder. Just mistimed it a little bit. It's all right. We got a pretty good size lead here, 16 to 19. Schroeder to Seaman. Zillig. You know, it doesn't even really look like she's swinging hard sometimes, and it still comes down like a freaking rocket. I mean, Seaman. Oh, just out. 1917. Okay, now, girls, we got to think about it. Yep, we're going to take a timeout, you know, and, and talk it over a little bit. We don't want to let them back into it here. And so, Muskies take a quick timeout to go over a couple things and. 
just maybe touch up a couple, you know, different things, and and we can uh, finish this out here and sweep the old Greyhounds of Burlington. Really impressed so far with, uh, you know, the Seaman sisters and the way Zillig's playing right now. I really like where she's at. Um, Schroeder's starting to come around. She started out really slow. It's, I thought maybe her shoulder was bothering her or something. And now she's starting to look like Avery. Um, Jansen's been on fire. So really, you know, a lot of good things coming out of this. Looks like Williamsburg will be taking on Durant on court two in the next round. Burlington to serve. Oh! 18 19 now, Burlington. Schroeder went off her hands. Funny. We got to get a side out here, girls. Seaman. Back set to Zillig. That's out by Hare. So now we're at 19 all. Oh boy, I s probably spoke too soon. We had a five point lead and can't get it going now. Great serve. Making it 20 to 19. Possible game point. We're gonna, Muskies are gonna take another timeout. That's six unanswered points there by Burlington. That's, wow. So if they win, if they come back and win, that's just crazy. Being, I mean, five points at a five-point lead. And we'll have to play a third set to 15. if Burlington gets another point here before the Muskies get two. I think in tournament play, you only have to win by one. You get to 21, the first team to 21, and it's over. Seaman out of the back row. Seaman to Schroeder, nice cross court. Beautiful shot, 20 to 20. Beautiful shot. So Schroeder to serve. So get an ace here, Schroeder. Go get it. Good serve. That's a d double hit. 21 20. Burlington. So you do have to win by two in tournament play. Oh. oh, a little miscommunication there between Maynard and Seaman making it 22-20. Burlington wins game two, so it will force a game three, 215. Williamsburg rolling in. Their fan uh, football team took out Cedar Rapids Xavier last night, 21-20, in a barn burner. That should put them up to the number one ranked team in 3A because they took out a 4A team that's a private school, and we know what goes on at private schools. <laughs> Xavier's got that. Uh, I think it's a DB that's. I th thought he was going to Florida State. Found something out the other day. I was uh, talking to one of my coworkers. His son plays for Columbus Junction football team, and they got the first week they played Minneapolis. 
I didn't know this, but Mediapolis has got a kicker that's going to Georgia. He kicked off the first time that my coworker saw him kick off. He kicked it 15 yards out of the end zone after the kickoff. So yeah, he's gonna go. Yeah, he's he's all right. You know, he can he can kick the ball. <laughs> yeah, so it's one to one here now, and uh we're gonna. I think the third one goes to 15 in tournament play. Um, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, Williamsburg taking their time down there to warm up. So the Muskies are supposed to play. Durant next at 10 a.m. And then they'll then 11 Williamsburg and then a break. Wow, three games before they get a break. Wow, that's tough. So Burlington will serve. I thought they served first last game. We got Ramser, Seaman off the bat. There we go. There we go. So we got Bodie, Jansen, Ramser, the two Seaman sisters, and Schroeder out there. I like this lineup. Good serve there by Jansen. Good spot. I mean, Jansen's right there where she needs to be. Schroeder up there. That's better. Keep doing that. Oh, nice shot. Nice work, Seaman. Way to see the court, making it two to nothing. Jansen. Ramsier. Seaman over to Schroeder. There it is. Oh, this is going to be good if they keep it alive. Jansen over to Seaman. To Seaman. It might have got away with a the push there. Good dig. Help it up. Great work, Bodie. Great work on that dig. Jansen to Seaman. Serve set was just a little bit off, but we kept it alive. So good work there. And it hits the net. Point Muskies on a great volley uh, rally there, making it three to nothing now. Muskies. Jansen serving still. That's a double hit. Schroeder, Seaman. This is gonna be tough. Oh, great work! Way to control your body there, Schroeder. We got a double hit here. On the Burlington side, making it four to nothing. Keep rolling, girls. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Jansen back to serve. Another good spot to put a serve, making that back row come up. And then they find a hole. But that's not before the Muskies put up four, so that's a good run. I'll take that. You're not going to score 15 in a row. <laughs> You're just not going to do it. But if you can take chunks to four to one, I'll, I'll do that all day long. Oh, we got a loose ball over there. So we still got the same lineup out there. Nobody came in to sub yet. Good work there. Schroeder gets up. Just let it carry it a little bit too far. Four to two. Get a side out here, girls. Good serve. That's a really good serve. 4-3 now. Back and forth we go. Burlington. Yeah. 
Wow. She can, I mean, the Burlington girl can serve. I mean, she's skimming it right over that net and finding holes. And Ramser lets it go through. So now the Muskets, four unanswered points now. Need to get it out. Side out here, girls. Don't call a timeout yet. Don't burn it. You're fine. There you go. Lefty Seaman, good. Good! Way to stop it there, Schroeder. Five all. Zillig coming in for Ramser. Got to have that height in the front row. Bodie going over and picking up a ball. Well, that's our ball. I thought that was Williamsburg's ball. Wow, okay. So, Seaman to serve. That's deep. 6-5. Need to get another side out here. Back row to Schroeder. Seaman back set to Seaman, who adjusted halfway through somehow. It's like Michael Jordan S, where they she can control her body so well. The set was a little bit off, and she still found a way to put it down the line. Just good work. Good Seaman. Ah, just got underneath the net a little bit too far, but I mean, she had to hustle to get that dig up and that's just a little bit of bad luck there. Seven, six lead here for Burlington. Let's get a side out. Eight six lead now for Burlington. Schroeder. Good work. That's a double hit. God. Nine six now. Timeout by the Muskies. Gosh darn it, we were cruising right along. Had a four to one lead and got a couple bad breaks and Chris has got a lot going on over here. <laughs> Working on some of the stuff that he needs to work on. Some graphics. He's pretty good at that. So Muskie's trail, 6-9 in the third one. This one's only to 15, so we need a side out pretty bad here, guys. Schroeder, Seaman back set to Zillig, gets over, nice. All right, we got a break there, that's what we needed. 7-9 now. Got Zillig, Maynard, Jansen, Seaman sisters, and Schroeder. Nice serve by Schroeder there, good back row hit. Seaman to Jansen, who kills it. Great work. Eight, nine now. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. I don't like. So we got Zillig, Maynard, Seaman, front row, er, and Jansen. 
And we got Schroeder serving again. Great serve. Absolutely great serve. Good block by Maynard. Great block. Nine to nine. Schroeder. Another really good. Oh. I thought that was going to stay in. 10-9 now. Fought back a little bit. Now we need another side out to make it 10 all. Schroeder, Seaman. Seaman. Little weird spin. Here's a free ball. Let's do something with it. Seaman, Seaman over to Jansen, who goes down the line. Another back. Schroeder, help, Seaman. Jansen, found a spot. Great. Ten all. Zillig, beautiful serve. Free ball, free ball. Ugh. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Little back row hit, nice work there, Schroeder, to cover that hole. Seaman coming out of the back row, and that's going to score a point. Beautiful work there, Seaman to Seaman. Zillig still serving, 11-10 lead Muskies. Another really good serve by Zillig. Good block, great block. Oh, free ball. Come on, do something with it. Good work, that's out. Point, Muskies, great work there by Jansen. Jansen's just rocking it right now. I was gonna say, I wondered when Burlington was gonna call a timeout and try to stop the bleeding a little bit. 12 to 10. So Burlington taking a timeout. Muscatine looking much better now. I would say if I was given an MVP to the first round, I would give it to... Uh, Probably Jansen right now. She's just playing really good right now. Um, of course, all the other girls are playing really good, but, I mean, Jansen's been doing a lot of the work here so far. So, so we got Maynard, the two Seaman sisters, Schroeder, Zillig, and Jansen. Zillig to serve. Great serve. A serve by Zillig there. That's huge. Huge. 13-10 now. Zillig serving still. Ah, just a bit long. 13 to 11. Rams are coming in for Zillig now to go to that back row. Burlington to serve. Lefty, Schroeder, Seaman, Seaman, oh. That's kind of tough, that back row like that when you're trying to time that up. 13-12, side out, come on girls. Ramser. Seaman to Jansen, point. Nice kill there. Fourteen, twelve game point here. Time out by Burlington. <clears throat> There for a second, I thought Coach had a Hawkeye shirt on, but it's a Muskie shirt. <laughs> College 
college season starts today for football. <clears throat> I mean, obviously they had some games last week, but this is the actual first week of where everybody's playing, so. Be interesting to see if the Hawkeyes really keep to the contract that Ference has where he has to average 24 points a game. Otherwise, he's out of a job. <laughs> they got the old Michigan reject, <laughs> McNamara. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on, girls. Jansen up. Great job, girls. Jansen gets the kill for the win, 15 to 12. Muskies take set one, two to one over Burlington. Gosh, Jansen played, I mean, they all played good, but I mean, Jansen was just great in that series there. And, um, I mean, some key serves by Zillig and Schroeder. Um, really good job serving. And of course the Seaman sisters do what the Seaman sisters do. You know, I mean, they're, they're great. Bodie came in with some nice stuff. Maynard had a really good block there, you know, so everybody's contributing, you know, it's, it's, it's good stuff. It's a lot of good stuff there for the Muskies. I believe next they have Durant who just took out West Liberty. So that's a, uh, this will be a tall task for the Muskies. I believe West Liberty is the only ranked team here. I don't think anybody else is ranked, and they just got beat. So, I didn't, I didn't think Durant was ranked. So, we're going to go right into it. No break, no nothing. We're going right into it. This will set. This will determine conditioning factors here. I think. Team captain Schroeder out there with uh, Durant. And Williamsburg has Burlington down on the other court. Looks like Williamsburg's got some height. Uh-oh. So hopefully the Muskies can build off of what they did that last game against Burlington. Um, you know, they, they did a lot of good things. Like I say, the only thing I would critique a little bit, and it's, and it's a freshman, so I'm not going to go crazy on it, but our sets need to be a little bit more consistent maybe. And, and that's the only thing really I can take away from that first. And sometimes it's hard. You know, I, I get it. Sometimes you're not set the best way for the – set her to do that but and and she'll get better as the year goes too I think she's kind of she's probably used to being an out seaman probably used to being like an outside hitter or something and and they're asking her to to set and that's that's a whole different ball game there so 
she's adjusting very well. She must know the Durant because the two Seaman sisters are having fun with the one of the Durant girls there talking back and forth. So they must know each other. Maybe they play some kind of travel ball together or something. They did have the toss, so I wonder... I think they on these tournaments too. I think they ask for uh, like a volunteer from like each school to call the lines as well. So getting ready to rock and roll here. I can't believe they got to play three games in a row. I mean that's still. Mind blowing. So we got Jansen, the two Seaman sisters in the front row. In the back row, we got Schroeder, Ramser, and Bodie. It looks like the Muskies won the toss and get to serve. What are we waiting on? Let's go. I don't know who Williamsburg's supposed to play. Burlington. I don't know what they're waiting on. Williamsburg's been warm for, an, I think, an hour. Well, maybe that's an exaggeration. but Maybe there has to. Okay, Bodie getting ready to serve here for the Muskies. Good serve. Good serve. Help. Schroeder. Seaman Schroeder out of the back row. Good rotation over there by the libero. Ramser. Seaman. Seaman! When, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, if, when she gets her sets down like that, it, and those two are working in sync like that, that's you're, it's going to be really, really, really hard to stop. You know, and, and that looked really good. Everything kind of went how it was supposed to go right there, and that's what makes you look really good. Good hit there by Durant. That's a big girl. Middle hitter for Durant, one to one. Came pretty much straight down. Bodie, Seaman to Seaman. And that was a little bit of bad luck where it went off the net and went out. I think if it doesn't go off the net there, I think that's a point for the Muskies. There's Burlington down there on the other court. Back set to Jansen. Good cross court, but defense was there for Durant. And they find a whole two to one lead now for Durant. Out. So uh, there's a service error for the Muskies. Two to three now. Going back to serve Jansen. Bodie, Ramser, and Seaman Sisters, and Schroeder still out there. No substitutions yet. Great serve. Free ball. We need to do something with it. Schroeder up. Oh, right idea. Just couldn't quite keep it in. Making it four to two. Wow, and she comes out. Wow. All the way back. Oh, the ball went up into the stands here. The roll away stands. So now, oh, Libero from Durant. She's comes down there and.
powerful serve there. Seaman. Good block. Great block. Another tall girl for Durant there, but Seaman got up to block it. Really good block there. 3 4. Zillig comes in for Ramser. Oh, 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 miss hit. That'll work. Fours now for the Muskies. Once again, that's a freshman that just got the ace serve. Man, I she's going to be. Give her another year to mature. She's just going to get better. Oh, that wasn't a, as I say, that was a carry. Yeah, okay. Yep. Point. Muskies take a five to four lead. Oh, great idea. Just couldn't quite caught it caught the front of the net. If that gets over, that's probably an ace serve because nobody was there. Five to five now. Schroeder to Seaman, back set to Seaman, down the line for the kill. That's a point, Muskies, 6-5. And, and earlier in the scrimmage, you know, it, it shows how far the girls have come because in the scrimmage, you know, they did they played against West Liberty and they got beat up pretty bad and, and uh, missed serve there by, service error by Seaman. And, um, you know, West Liberty just got swept by Durant, and here we are 6-6 six to six with them. So it, it shows how far that the girls have come, you know, from the beginning of the year, which is quite impressive. Oh, wow. Good serve. Zillig up. Oh, but great block. Oh, my goodness, Ramser. What a save. What was that? Were we net violation there? I think Maynard got into the net there, and net violation. So 7-6 Durant. Wow, she's got something on that serve. Wow, that was a rocket. Muskies down 8-6. Get a side out here, girls. Good, Seaman. Over to Schroeder. Nice work. Nice. Way to play those block. Play right off the blocks. Good angle. Everything working there. Schroeder walking back to serve now. 7-8. Muskies trail by one. Schroeder, great serve. That's a free ball. Help. Zillig. Oh, oh, great work. Good. Way to get back. Oh, wow. That's some good put defense there by... Jansen knocks one down, looking great. Good defense there on that volley by Durant, and Muskie still power through it for the point, eight to eight. Really good stuff out of the Muskies right now. Schroeder, good serve there. Back row, Seaman. Seaman back to Zillig, who gets blocked. Good block there by the Muskies. That's a I mean, they got some height. And now another one comes in. Another tall girl for Durant. Nine eight. Zillig Seaman. Oh, Jansen tried to get it over. On a deal like that, I think, you know, Maybe just that's that close to the net, just try to tip it over. You know, it's really hard to bring it back and try to get a set. Just tip it over and play for another round. You know what I mean? 
Great serve. Good job by Zillig there to get it up. Schroeder. That's what, yeah, you just got to get it over there. That's out on the cross court, making it 9-10. Muskies trail by one. Okay, there we go. Zillig to serve. Really good serve. That's a tough spot to be in. We got a 10-all match now. Zillig's got a tire shoe. Great serve. Really good stuff. There it is. 11-10. Muskies take the lead for the first time. There we go. Nice serve. You know, ace serve for Zillig. I mean, it really doesn't even like she's putting anything on it, but it's just coming. I mean, that thing is just humming right down there. I mean, her swing looks like it's just kind of, eh, boom. Good stuff. Free ball. Do something, girls. Keep going. Jansen, cross court. Beautiful. Beautiful work. 12-10. Muskies with the lead, 13-10 now. Zillig still serving. Durant takes a timeout. Coach wants to go over it. Coach is pretty laid back for Durant. He's just sitting there and just kind of going over some stuff and nothing exciting. I like that. I mean, it, some coaches you get on the other spectrum were bouncing around and can't sit still, which is fine too. But, you know, he's just pretty relaxed and mellow and just saying, hey, this is what we got to do. And, and it kind of depends on your girls too in this circumstance. If you've got girls that can handle getting barked at, then that helps too, you know. And, and maybe that's the personality of the team that he has where it's, he's found that it's better to – be laid back and kind of trust in the process and there's different ways of coaching <laughs> you know so it's just what's successful for you so Zillig still serving Muskie's up 13 to 10 barely gets it over Maynard you gotta stay away from that huh and I'm surprised you didn't get in the net there Jansen, great work. <laughs> she looked like she was going to go cross court and then the, saw that the girls were up in the air and just said, okay, I'll just play it off of you guys. 14-10, Muskies lead. Zillig, another really good serve. Tried to dink it over, Seaman, over, Jansen. We're gonna have a free ball here, guys. Seaman. Great! That's the type of stuff I want her to work on. That is that is the type of stuff I want her to work on. Seaman, when when you go up like and there's nobody and she saw the court, I mean it's just beautiful work there. Really liked it. Zillig Oh! Darn it. Good run by Zillig there. 15-11 now. Muskies lead. Rams are coming in. That was some really good stuff out of, you know, the Muskies there on that run. 15 to 11. Back row. Rams are good. Seaman to Seaman. That's an illegal hit, but that's all right. We got the point. 16 11. Muskies lead. Maynard going out and Bodie coming in to serve. Jansen and the two Seaman sisters in the front row. In the back row, we got Bodie, Ramser, and wow, powerful serve there by Bodie. Good quick set there. That was a really good quick set. I bet you she's probably close to like 6'3". 
You know, I mean, that's a big girl for Grant. Bodie. Seaman to Seaman. Drops it in. Almost got it. Off a tip. Good work, Bodie. Jansen. Seaman. Seaman! Oh, really good defense there by Durant. Good block. Oh, really good stuff on both sides there. I mean, that was... That was scrappy on both parts. Help. Good. Good. Oh, man, that was close. 14 16 here. Muskies. Still up. Seaman, Seaman, cross court. Good, up. Quick set there for Seaman, that's in. Nice work. 17-14 now, Muskies lead Jansen back to serve. Great serve. That's out. Good work. 18-14, Muskies lead. Great serve. Help it, help it, help it. There we go. Just get it over. Good work. Good block by Seaman. Good job, Bodie. Schroeder. Oh, my goodness. A lot of back and forth there. A lot of good action. Really good stuff. This is this is good volleyball right here, guys, on both sides. I mean, very impressed. 15-18. Muskies lead. Really good back and forth. Timeout Durant. Uh, I don't know what happened there. He wanted to call timeout, but he couldn't. Now he can call timeout because she didn't have the ball. Okay. Calls his play. There you go, Bodie. Oh! She hung there. <laughs> she just hung there and was like, okay, bink. That's just really good stuff. Zilla coming in for Ramsler to get in that front row. She just like hung there in the air and just like, neek. Good work by Seaman there. Good. Nice work. Really good stuff there by Schroeder and the girls. I mean, they had that quick hit there by Durant that was like, okay, thought they were going to get something in there, and then they dig it up, and Schroeder cleans it up. Just really good stuff. 20 to 15, Muskies lead. Seaman. Back row hit, out. Muskies take game one. 21 to 15. And like I said, that just goes to show how far these girls have come in a short time to go to a scrimmage in West Liberty, get swept out of the bill. I mean, it I mean, it wasn't I'm sorry, it, I'm not trying to be brutal here, but it wasn't good. And now they come around here and beat Durant 21 to 15, pretty much dominated, you know? I mean, for the most part, and Durant just swept West Liberty. So that just goes to show what a little bit of work and, you know, buying in to what the system brings for these girls. And, I mean, that's that's really good hard work there by the girls and the coaches and 
and figuring out what you got. It, it, I just can't wrap my head around. How, I mean, they just got to be feeling really good right now. Over on the other court, we got a 4-2 to lead for... Now it's 5-2 Williamsburg. Williamsburg cruising kind of right along at 6-2. Wow, that was a big swing there. So if the Muskies can get a get this second game, maybe we'll get a quick little break here <laughs> in action. So Burlington taking a timeout down there, and Coach just pretty much let him have it and then said, okay, I'm done talking, figure it out. Williamsburg with a 7-2 lead down there on court number two. Okay, here we go back on court number one with the Muskies, and I believe Durant will start serving. We got Bodie, Ramser, Schroeder, the two Seaman sisters and Jansen up front. So here we go, game number two. Durant to serve. Are we ready? Let's go. Durant serves. Great serve. I mean, that's just, that's one thing I did notice about Durant. They got some powerful serves. I mean, that was a really good serve. Hard to defend that. Bodie just couldn't quite get down. So Durant takes a quick one to nothing leave off the ace. Down the other side, Schroeder. Seaman. Just missed time to block. Muskie's down 2 nothing. I mean, when you got girls that can serve that powerful, it's it kind of starts you off. There you go, Ramser. Seaman scoring. I wonder if the younger ones brill, right? Bree, the younger ones, Bree, is that right? Bell, Bell. Wonder if she heard me because her sets have been a lot better this game. <laughs> so that's like I said, I just wanted her to be a little bit more consistent with it. And she's been looking really good this against Durant here with her sets a lot better. You know, uh, the timing's better. Jansen with a good serve. Little quick set. It's hard to stop that on that quick set. Especially when you got a girl that's probably 6'2", 6 6'3", 6 <laughs> that's coming down with that. So Durant leads 3-2. Jansen, back set to Seaman. That stuff's just really good. There she set a really nice set there for her sister and came smoked down the line. 
not much you can do with that if you're Durant. Three all. Good serve by Seaman. Good block by Seaman. Great block. Zillig in there now. Girls are having fun. See what happens when, you know, it's just when you start putting up some points and doing some things, you start having fun. Schroeder. Oh, wow. How did she get that up? Great defense. Oh, that might have been out. Jansen Schroeder up. Cross court. Point. Nice work. Really good work there. 6-3. Muskies lead. Seaman serving again. Durant girls questioning something. Set up. Another good block. Oh, were we in the net? Six three. Muskies lead. Great ace serve. Seven three. Timeout, Durant. Four unanswered points. Five unanswered points by the Muskies. Because it was two to three, and then we scored, you know, five unanswered. Burlington has fought back to an 8-10 to game down there. Good serve there by Burlington. Williamsburg up. Oh, tried to go cross court and mistimed it. Makes it 9-10 Burlington. So Seaman still serving. Good serve. Little free ball there. Back set to Zillig. Smoke down the line. And that's a point. When she gets up and comes down, that's like a hammer. Eight to three lead for the Muskies. Seaman still serving. Oh, great serve. A little quick set. Bodie gets it up. Schroeder, oh! Just mistimed it. That was a good hit, though. I mean, that was a good look. 8-4 now. Jansen gets it up to Schroeder to Seaman. That's, you know, that's some good work there. Good defense. Set off. Jansen, Seaman, Schroeder. Hell, oh boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Free. Yes. Point Muskies. 9-4. They're just doing a lot of good things. Maynard coming in for Bodie now. Great serve. Kill it. Kill! Oh my goodness. That's really. No, 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 no. I just say they didn't give her a point there. Was she in the net? How was is, how is she in the net? I mean, that's perfectly legal. 9 5. I mean, she played it about as good as you could. Schroeder. Seaman, Zillig, good, good. 
Holt pff, pushed the libero out of the way. I mean, she literally shoved her out of the way. I mean, it's just like. Waynesburg and Burlington tied up at 12 down there. Muskies have a nine to six lead here. Schroeder, Seaman, Schroeder, help. Good work. 10-6, Muskies lead. Good serve. Great serve by Schroeder there. A little quick set. Good dig. Good defense. Let's get it over. Nice. Oh, it's like she slipped. Jansen slipped there. That's all right, though. 10-7 game now. Muskie's still ahead. It's like her knee buckled. Jansen's knee almost like, like buckled on her and she couldn't quite get to it. Holy moly. Did that serve have something on it? Nice work. <laughs> yes, Jansen. Eleven to seven. Zillig. Good quick set. Seaman up with it. Back over to Jansen. Oh, just goes out. Just missed. Eleven eight. I believe. No. Yeah, it should be eleven eight, right? Yep. Eleven eight Muskies lead. Just keep staying ahead by three. That'll work. Now get a side out. All the way to 21. Oh, a little bit funky off her arms. A lot of heart. That, that's some really good stuff there by Jansen to get it over. Big swing. 11-9. Two-point lead for the Muskies now. Give me a side out here, girls. 16-12 down on the other court. Williamsburg leads Burlington. Tipped off of Schroeder. So now we got an 11-10. Got some powerful servers. I mean, their servers, every single one of them is just smoking that ball. Seaman. Seaman Jansen. Oh, it was there. I mean, if it doesn't catch the net, she scores off of that. She gets that kill, but it just caught the net and ran down it. And 11 all. Give me a side out. Give me a side out. Come on, girls. Schroeder. Jansen. Schroeder. Out. Okay. Need to take a timeout and calm down, maybe. We're all right. 12-11. Duran on a little run here. Help. Just get it over. Good. Got a free ball. Seaman to Jansen. A little spinner. There we go. Good work. Bodie coming in for Maynard. Burlington fighting their way back into this one. 16 to 17 down there. A lot of back and forth little runs on that one down there. Kind of like ours. We get a run. Nice serve by Bodie. Oh, wow. Good, Jansen. Quick set. Oh, good stuff. Great save by the libero there. Oh, there it is. When she starts seeing the court like that, I mean, that's this kid, I'm telling you. If she sticks with this stuff and keeps getting better, she might end up being a mid-major D1 type volleyball player. A lot of good things I see out of her. 
That's tough angle there. Good work there by Duran. Jansen down the line. 14 to 12 now. I just can't wrap my head around how those girls see the court so fast. Good work. Help it. That's all right. That's good Good stuff there. Good dig. Another quick set that she timed wrong. 15-12 Muskies. Oh, oh, great idea, Bodie. Just caught the front of the net. Otherwise, you know, it catches them off guard. So now we're looking at 15-13. Even when you have something that just doesn't quite go right and you're still smiling and laughing about it, you know you got a lot of the good things going on. Ramser, help it. Oh, just a little bit too much by Schroeder there. 15-14. Holy moly, did that girl get up for Williamsburg down there. Schroeder, Seaman, Seaman blocked out. Point Muskies. Williamsburg 2019 lead, they're a point away from taking game one. Good serve by Jansen there, cross. Tip, Ramsey, good, good. Nice work, yes! Good stuff, Seaman, Seaman. 17-14 now. Timeout, Durant. You know, I, I would really like to see this team play PV right now. Because as good as they are playing right now, they are right neck and neck with PV. I mean, this is this is some really good volleyball for these girls. Doing a lot of really good things. You know, getting some good hard digs off some really hard hits. Um, you know, just, and then the setting and the hitting and the, I mean, they're just, the serving, I mean, they're doing a lot of the fundamental volleyball skill, you know, doing it right and doing it good. This is, if this is what they're capable of, which I think they are, they can win a lot of games playing like this. Great serve. Absolutely beautiful. Way to go, Jansen. 18-14. Good hard serve after that little dinker that caught him off guard. Quick set. Good defense. Another one. Good look. I mean, if, if anything, that took him out of their normal routine. Set over to Schroeder, and that's going to go out off the block. 19-14 now. Muskies two away again. And I believe Williamsburg took game one down there. Did you guys win that? You win. Okay, Williams, Williamsburg did win. That's out. 20 to 14 now, Muskies game point. Oh, oh. Great work. Come on, C. Ooh, that set was just a skosh off. That was the first set this game that she had off just a little bit. That's all right, that's all right. We're a point away. Let them have that one. That went off the net funny, so we're good. Just get me a side out here and we win. 21-15. There it is. 
Back set to Seaman, down the line. Ooh, almost got it. Seaman knocks it down for the point. And the Muskies do take the series 21 to 15, the sweep of Durant. And, and Durant, you know, I mean, they, they come off of a high where they swept West Liberty. And Muskies pretty much controlled both games. I mean, really, they pretty much controlled both games. They had a couple moments where, you know, Durant looked like they might come back, but then Muskies just, you know, regrouped and, and, and did what they needed to do there. They, they look really good in that set, you know, against a solid team and uh, Durant. Williamsburg won the first game 22 to uh, 20. So they're getting ready to play their second game. Yeah, they're, they're behind. Yeah, they're behind. Well, they they let both teams rewarm up again. When you know, I don't I didn't understand that because Burlington had already warmed up and then they let them both go through their whole warm up routine again. I understand the whole thing for Williamsburg because that's their first game, but there's no reason for Burlington to, yeah, they're just starting their second game. What's that? Yeah, definitely they can watch that game and uh, what's that? <laughs> so the Williamsburg fans that did come down and ask on how to uh, video uh, what was going on here and and Chris set him up on YouTube or Facebook or whatever you want to do and and uh, watch your Williamsburg Red Raiders and the Burlington Greyhounds or, or Williamsburg Red Raiders Williamsburg Raiders I'm sorry uh, Williamsburg shout out to their football team for taking out Xavier last night 21 20 in a barn burner I had the privilege last year to uh, my hometown, I'm on the chain gang for the football team and we had the privilege to do the championship game uh, that Williamsburg lost, sorry. Um, but it was a really good game. Um, I was in awe of their, uh, I, I really enjoyed watching their front seven so to speak, on both sides of the ball. I mean, it it was is a pretty stout front seven, and and uh, they got some really good athletes over there. They're all back. They're going to be really hard to beat um, in 3A. So, and to take out Xavier, a 4A team, is very impressive, obviously. So, um, hats off to the Raiders there, and of course, their softball team was state champs. Um, so that, you know, they got a lot of good things going over there at Williamsburg right now. And they start off with a three to one lead here over Burlington. Wow, that's just some good stuff. That's just good defense there by Williamsburg. I mean, really good defense. Looked like a couple times there the Burlington team was going to get a point and a lot of good digs. And that was in for Burlington. So Burlington with a 4-3 lead. What? Good cross court there by Williamsburg.
Nice set. Comes across hard there for Williamsburg. Good work. I mean, a lot of good, a lot of good work there from uh, Williamsburg. Up seven to four now. Is that four unanswered for Williamsburg, I think? Help it over. A little free ball, maybe. Good swing there. Oh, wow, that's some help it. That actually went over. That's just good hustle. Good idea. Man, that's a long volley. Out of the back row. Man. Help. There we go. Wow. Oh, long volley there. Man, a lot of work for one point. <laughs> oh, your point. Good save. Williamsburg up eight to five. Oh, that's out. Just, I mean, that was a great idea there for Williamsburg, but just outside the line there. Really good idea. I mean, because it would, if it would have just been a little bit further, you know, to my right. It would have been in, and that would have been a point because there's definitely nobody there. Good back set, recovery. Ooh, just missed that. Bump set up and waited to get it over. Free ball for Burlington here. That's out. Just couldn't quite come down on it. Williamsburg up 9-6 to six now. Oh, wow. No way. If that goes over, are you kidding me? Wow. Good stuff out of Waynesburg there to get that over. I don't know how they got that over. Burlington right back gets one over that I had no business getting over. Oh, man. Wow, another good volley there for Waynesburg. 11, 10, is it? yeah, 10, 6. That's a double hit. Got to get both hands on the ball at the same time. Can't do a ding. That's pretty good there for Burlington to get that up. Wow, through the block for the point. Timeout for Burlington.
So Williamsburg to serve now. Up 12-6. Oh man, gotta help that. Let's say double hit. Got away with it there at first, but took him a little while to make the call, but. 13-6 now, Williamsburg. Great serve. Set was a little bit behind her. I think the Burlington girls are getting a little bit tired. They just had to play three games, and Williamsburg is really fresh. They look pretty stout right now. That's out. 14-7 now. I believe Muscatine has Williamsburg next, correct? Yeah. Oh, really good serve there by Pennington. Great dig. Oh, that was out, kid. Great. I mean, really, I mean, that was a crucial dig and, and did a lot of really good things there for Williamsburg. Up 14 to 7 now. Gee, many crickets. Just a serve, smoked that thing right at him. 16 7 9 for Williamsburg. Wow, she's got a cannon back there serving. Up. Oh, that's out. Burlington stops the bleeding a little bit there. Oh, wow. I mean, for her to even get an arm on that, that's impressive. I mean, that thing was humming down that line, and she still got an arm on it. I mean, that's, that's crazy. Net there, net, got it, one in the net, kill there. Kirkwood Volleyball. Kirkwood here, checking out maybe a couple girls. Tipped. Ugh. Ugh. Carried a little bit too far for Williamsburg there, up 17 to 11. Burlington trying to make a comeback here. Help that over. Stay in. Up. Nice work. Oh, tip action. Neither team really able to get on the offense. <clears throat> Williamsburg gets the side out for the point. 18 to 11. What was that? 
I, I guess I didn't see what she did there. Ooh, nice little quick set there. Good defense. Found a hole. 19, 20 to 11 game point here for Williamsburg to possibly complete the sweep against Burlington. I would say that it's gonna be really, really hard for Burlington to score at least nine unanswered points. So even if they don't get it here, oh, really good work there by the libero. Cross court, out, is tipped. So point Burlington, 12 to 20. Great save. Really good save there. That's out. Oh no, it is in. Wow. I thought it was going to carry further. That is a service error and Williamsburg does take game two and complete the sweep of the Burlington Greyhounds. Clever piping so systems for new construction plumbing, a family owned company that's reliably honest and remarkably affordable, right here in Muscatine, all day long, every day of the week. Rivo Incorporated, skill, knowledge, and tools to solve the messiest problems. Have you heard the little things can make the biggest difference? Every day, big and littles are connecting in our community. So it's time together can look a little different. But the goals and outcomes are the same. The littles are building confidence, forming better relationships, a sense of belonging, and achieving big goals. But there are more kids just like me who are still waiting. Will you join us in making more matches possible? Support Big Brothers, Big Sisters. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially when it comes to the driving experience. Let's take a closer look. Our legendary smooth track steering provides buttery smooth turns, making maneuvering around obstacles a breeze. Unlike the jerky feel of other options, our smooth track steering is so effortless, anyone can make short work of the lawn. Hustler Turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Rivo, the plumbing experts for Muscatine and surrounding areas has moved. Our new location at 1109 Grandview Avenue offers spacious parking and a large open showroom. Employing experienced plumbers and carpenters, we specialize in remodeling entire bathrooms and kitchens. Imagine the possibilities. Stylish new faucets, sinks, shower units, bathtubs, and more, along with tankless water heaters and gas fireplaces. We also provide complete residential and commercial plumbing services. Rivo Incorporated, call us for your next remodel. Did we mention quality matters? Welcome to our cut quality center. Let's take a closer look. Our mowers provide superior laser precision cut quality for a perfectly manicured lawn. Let's break this down in science terms. This grass is cut good. This grass is cut not as good. Hustler turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Welcome to the future, imagined by visionaries, championed by leaders, and focused on results. Made real through hard work and a determination to build the things that people count on. Places where ideas are born, where progress fuels growth and strengthens communities. 
It's work that makes a difference. United Rentals. You're building the future. We're here to help. When water service lines get damaged, customers often call us first. Remember, MPW is responsible for the water main. The water service line from the main to your home belongs to you. Damage is usually unexpected, and repairs can cost thousands. So don't wait until a problem occurs. Be prepared. Check your homeowner's policy and see if it's covered. If not, third-party protection plans are available for water and sewer. MPW also offers the utility loan program with 0% interest, and that may help. Learn more at mpw.org. River Rehab Physical Therapy. Feel better, move forward. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. We are looking for a zero turn lawnmower. At Hustler Turf, quality matters. Can I test drive that one? In the store? <laughs> Even in the buying experience, we know you want to buy from someone who knows what they're talking about. We're looking for a zero turn mower. Like Great. this guy. Uh, first thing you need to know is what's the size of your property? Uh, are there any obstacles? Head to your local Hustler dealer and talk to a lawnmower expert. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially in the strength and durability of our mowers. So you know your Hustler will stand the test of time. We think the difference is obvious. With our welded fabricated steel deck, high strength 11 gauge one piece frame, and the precision control of our smooth track steering, anyone can mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. From a clogged toilet to a complete sewer line replacement, Rivo is a modern plumbing company designed to respond quickly to all shapes and sizes of plumbing needs. Bringing in our heavy equipment to replace cracked gas lines or designing clever piping systems for new construction plumbing, a family-owned company that's reliably honest and remarkably affordable. Right here in Muscatine, all day long, every day of the week. Rivo Incorporated, skill, knowledge, and tools to solve the messiest problems. Have you heard the littlest things can make the biggest difference? Every day, bigs and littles are connecting in our community. So a time together can look a little different, but the goals and outcomes are the same. Littles are building confidence, forming better relationships, a sense of belonging, and achieving big goals. But there are more kids just like me who are still waiting. Will you join us in making more matches possible? Support big brothers, big sisters. At Hustler Turf, quality matters.
That is just really good work. I mean, that was a beautiful serve. And golly, what's the two hits where? Two hits where? Both Michigan guys just scored another touchdown for the Hawks. <laughs> Chris is over here just having a heyday with it too, because he, you know, <laughs> There we go. Oh, just missed that a little bit there for that semen to semen connection, but still got the point. Two nothing Muscatine. The, the thing that's impressing me the most about the Muskies right now is their defense. I mean, what some of these balls that they're getting up in the air and then still finding a way to get over is, I mean, it's not like Williamsburg isn't hitting the ball hard. It's just that Muskie's defense is just playing really good right now. That's a good block. See, I mean, there's Williamsburg's doing a lot of good things. It's just right now the Muskies are, are playing really, really good volleyball. Up in the air. That's a good hit. That was a good hit. It just got blocked. I mean, Bodie. Seaman got it over in a perfect. So now we're looking at a 2-2 game here for Williamsburg. And that's another thing that volleyball, you can kind of bounce around and serve wherever you want. Great set there to Schroeder for the kill. Just a really good cross court set to Schroeder. Zillig coming in now for Ramser. Little Seaman back to serve. 
Good serve. Down the line, but just out. West Liberty up six to one on the other one. That's in for an ace serve by Seaman. Great serve, another ace. Good. Zillig goes up. Oh, and Jess goes out. 6-3 lead for the Muskies. So we got Zillig, Seaman Sisters, Schroeder, Jansen, over to Schroeder, block. Seaman, good defense. I mean, it's just, I mean, that stuff should work for Williamsburg. You know, it, it's just good block. Little tip. Zillig moves, help, good stuff. I mean, it's just stuff that I, for Williamsburg, you gotta kind of feel for them because they're doing a lot of good things, but Schroeder up, good dig there. Good block by Zillig. I mean, <laughs> doing a really good, I mean, Muscatine just looks really good right now. I'm just very happy with how the girls are playing. Seven to three lead over Williamsburg. Nice job there by Seaman to get that up. Little back set to Zillig, goes cross court there. Up, set, help. Zillig pushes it across, good. Look at that, I mean, right there. I mean, that's just stuff that should work for Williamsburg, but the defense for Muscatine is just phenomenal. There they go, they got one there for Williamsburg. Seven to four, good volley. Seven to four lead for the Muskies. Seaman, Seaman over to Schroeder, down the line. Good defense there by Williamsburg. Back to Jansen, Seaman back set to Zillig. Might be a free ball here. Seaman gets it up. Maynard tried to get it over. Williamsburg seven to five now. Trailing by two. West Liberty up 11 to two on court two. Burlington playing their third game in a row might be uh, a little fatigued as well. Back set, Seaman tried to come down. Just timed it a little bit wrong. Seven six game here. Little run here for Williamsburg to get back into the game. Jansen back row, Seaman up. Schroeder putting it in the corner. This should be a free ball. Jansen. Back to serve for the Muskies is Schroeder. We got Schroeder, the two Seaman sisters, Jansen, Maynard, and Zillig. Good. Cross set. Weird spin on that ball. Jansen up. <clears throat> and just missed time there a little bit by Williamsburg. Muskies get another point. Nine to six.
good work by Maynard there. Really good work. 10-6 lead for the Muskies. Ace serve for Schroeder. Really down on the other court. West Liberty up 13 to two on court two. Uh-oh, got buzzer issues. Got an injured player down there for Burlington. Looks like her knee gave out on her. And she's definitely not putting any pressure on it. But we, do we have a trainer here? Ooh, set over just a skosh too far. 12 to six Muskies. Schroeder still serving. Out, service error makes it 12 to seven. Williamsburg trailing, getting ready to serve now. Number eight for Williamsburg. Zillig, good serve to Zillig, gets it up. To Jansen for a tip. Seaman back set. Zillig comes down hard. Good save in that back row. Maynard tried to get up and block. Oh, nice little shot there by Williamsburg. Jansen seemed to slip when she went to go for it. Muskie's still ahead 12 to 8. Back set to Zillig who drops it in. Nice, now puts them on the defense. We got a free ball here. Seaman, cross set to Jansen off the block and scores the point. Making it 13 to eight. Comets up 16 to two over Burlington down there. Good up, help it. Seaman, free ball for Williamsburg here. Set something up. Brooklyn McGinnis in seeing some action for the Muskies. 13-9 lead, Schroeder, Seaman, Jansen off the tip. Just some bad luck there by Williamsburg. 15-9 now. Panetta seeing some action now for the Muskies. Up 14-9, coming in to serve. Really good serve. Seaman with a tip over for the point. Comets take game to West Liberty over Burlington, 20 to two to complete the sweep of Burlington. Serve. That's out, 16 to nine now, Muskies. hit there on the service ace, service air. Here comes number 21 for Williamsburg to serve. Let's 
Seaman. Just Jansen blocks. Seaman gets it. Jansen gets it over. Good work by Williamsburg there. Seaman gets it up. And the block. Just some really good stuff on both sides there. Back row. Get it up. Really good stuff on both sides. I mean, really, really good stuff. Good defense. Good volley in both ways. 16 to 11. Another good serve there by Williamsburg. Seaman just, normally that means a point. Normally that means a point. When it's Seaman to Seaman, yeah. Coming in number 19. Natalie Thompson, 17 to 11 now. Back row, good stuff there, good stuff. Schroeder, cross court. Good. Quick set to Seaman for a point. 18 to 12 lead, Zillig coming back in. <laughs> Seaman, <laughs> that's kind of funny right there. Seaman hitting her sister in the back of the head on a serve. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh at that. <laughs> That's got to be great. <laughs> Smacked her sister in the back of the head. That's pretty good. That's out on the service error, so that makes it 19 to 13, Muscatine. And Maynard coming in now. Some back row underclassmen getting some very, very important time on the court. Great. I mean, that's just a good hit by Winberg and great defense. 19 to 14, Muskie's lead here. Help. Good. Zilla gets it up, and that's just in a weird spot. Nobody could really do anything with that, so it's 19-15. Leesburg scrapping around. Muskies need a side out here. Nineteen sixteen. Somebody got into the net there, I think, on Muscatine. Good help. 1917, timeout, Muscatine. serving number three huh good Schroeder gets up but the block on the way on a substitution Zillig blocked. Another block making it 19 to 18. Scrapping around Williamsburg. 19 all.
Nice dig, 20 to 19. Game point here if they get it. Otherwise, Williamsburg scrapping around, making this a heck of a game. Schroeder serve, good bump save there. Tipped, Maynard with the block. Help it, Maynard, Schroeder. Free ball here. Schroeder set. Jansen down the line for the point. End the game, 21 to 19. Muskies win. Sweep Williamsburg. Williamsburg, I, I was impressed with them. They are scrappy team. They didn't they had a lot, they did a lot of good things. It's just Muscatine's defense right now is just really good. So um, very impressed with how the Muskies are doing. Now they're on break. I'm going to take a break, but we'll go live still on camera here for the other games that will be going on. And here is your programming note, folks. We are going to take, there's about a 30-minute break here, so during that time what we're going to do is a couple quick things for you. Uh, we are going to get uh, some highlights of your varsity volleyball team, some profiles that they filled out for us. Um, and we'll be back as soon as one of the two courts takes the court.
announcement. The session stand will be closing in 15 minutes.
Can't always see the number from yeah. behind. Schroeder gets it. Over to Seaman to Seaman. There's a free ball for West Liberty. Normally this is not good. Sophie Bison there. Good work there by the girls from Muscatine. Uh, Sophie Bison uh, eats, breathes, and sleeps volleyball. <laughs> um, her sister is at uh, work work right now playing volleyball as a setter. They do a lot of kind of like travel softball. They do a lot of travel. Ramsey with a good shot there. Seaman back set. Jansen gets it over. Turn spicy again. Up 3-0 here. Come on, girls. We're all right. Come on, Muskies. I got to co talk to Coach Bailey. Uh, during the break, and you know, one thing that she mentioned is. Okay. Good second scene, good. Wainwright and Morrison there on the block. Wainwright, yeah. Is to be like you said, they were playing with a lot more confidence here, playing together. Uh, she did say they sometimes uh, have trouble coming out after a break, too. So. Maybe they're not used to doing a lot of winning. And, and, and it's hard to learn how to win and keep winning and keep winning and keep winning. And, and especially when you're going against, for lack of a better word, you know, what West Liberty is known for is, is their volleyball program, you know, and, and it's a, a pretty big monster to take West Liberty down. Did, did that girl just do the splits to get the ball? Yes. I'm about 99% sure. Yeah, yeah. and, and uh, that's a, that's a, like number six, um, she's just a sophomore. Oh. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it, there's things that I, I really like and enjoy about the West City Volleyball program, but there's some things that bother me a little bit about it. You know, like during softball season, you want something to go and, and, and I have to go to camp. So it kind of 
hurts some of the you know things around, and I'm probably speaking a little bit out of turn. Oh, nice, nice touch by work. Schroeder. Nice touch work there. Well, and I think that's the conversation that we all always have. It's right. like, you know, and it's it's tough because you see coaches trying to build a program. Right. And if a coach, and, and this is, it doesn't matter what where? school it is. Right, wherever. Where, right, exactly. This is everywhere. You know, the, the, the singular coach is trying to build a program. Right. So he wants to see girls that are dedicated. Right. Or boys and right. they, whatever. It doesn't right. matter. Right. And, you know, they want them playing all summer, right. all, you know, all season, right. or pardon, all year long. Right. And that's great right. on one hand. Right. But, you know, you have parents and, and others worry about, like, over-specialization. Right. Do you maybe miss out on a kid that could have been better at something, but they did not get it right? Exactly. Right. And so it's a tough balance between, right. you know, building a strong program and playing Call it year-roundish or three out of four, season. three or four sport athlete versus a three or four sport athlete, right? And uh, it's just tough to balance it. Right. And, and you know, and, and I mean, he does, he's a phenomenal coach. I'm mean, not saying he is, that's not what he is because he's. I mean, right. I mean, it's, I mean, we've been to more state program, state tournaments in volleyball than any other program we've ever had. Obvious it's, it's like our softball program. Right, exactly. You know, and, and uh, so, I mean, he does a great job, and the girls like him, and he gets along good with him. It's not a, I mean, that's the only knock of someone put it out right there. That's so cool. Wait, kicking the ball like that. That's legal. Seriously? Yep, that's it. Hope, folks, I hope you have fun with a color commentator that doesn't know a squat about this for the <laughs> color commentator. Hey, it's, it's so unique how, I mean, because she never gets back. I mean, Sophie could be, I mean, she just is calm, cool, collected. So, wait, I, I'm, I'm putting two and two together here now. So, could somebody do a bicycle kick? Yeah. If you really wanted to, but... Well, yeah, I'm not I, saying I it's a good idea. Yeah, I'm not saying it's a good idea either, but... but it'd be I, really hard to be able to get the kick to go down, you know what I mean? I'll say this, though. During media day, Avery Schroeder was doing cartwheels, one-handed cartwheels, pointing at things while doing it. I'll bet she could do a bicycle kick and get it where it needed to go. Yeah, oh, yeah. So we're at 7-6 here. What's somebody with the lead? And it's seven to six, and I'm gonna be honest. I don't think Muscatine's really hit their stride. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, it doesn't. And, and you know, it says a lot about where the girls are at. So, so it's, you know, we've got by one, and we really haven't got going. We got both Seaman sisters, Zillig in the front, yep. Bodie Schroeder, and Jansen. Yeah, Schroeder's a, a, an exceptional athlete all the way around. You know, and, and to me, her, her best gig is, from what I've seen, is softball. Uh, yes, she is, you know, definitely. Um, she definitely kept the mold of the amazing Muskie Summer Field. Uh, yes, yes. Falling after yeah, Riley. Falling after Riley. And, yep. and it's the same type of player, too. Both slap winners. Yep, know, very much so. You know, um, very much uh, lead by example. Mm -hmm. Just, I'm going to go out and do it, and everybody will come out. Come in. And, 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 and that team does. And, 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 you know, the personality goes along with it. You know, that's one thing I love about Avery is, you know, I mean, she really didn't know me from the main and the main, but she, I can talk to her now. Like, she's one of my kids that I've known for 15 years, you know, and, and that's what's so neat. And even even some of the, like, I was talking to the senior sisters outside there and on. I mean, Mom knows me from you know years past, but the girls really didn't know who I was, and, and, and now they call me by name. And, and it's just it's a, well, it's because they enjoy listening to the goofy commentary. <laughs> That's what I heard. You know, I heard. And the girls, if you're watching this on replay, uh, for what it's worth, we enjoy watching it. Yeah, exactly. And it's you know the work, and we respect the work that they put in. And, and Time that they put in, and, you know, it, it's elemental. 
slide in, right? Yeah, Ellen Woodward is in there now. Presumably. Um, well, she went in for Bowden, didn't she? Uh, oh, yes, she did. Oh, yes, she is. She's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's tough. That's a good serve. Good save. Now, one thing, Toby, that I'm going to make an observation on, I did not realize pink was only the list of the colors. Um, what they do is um, they normally have, they normally do it at home. You know, like I got like a pink out yeah. game or whatever, and, and then sometimes it'll carry over into the weekend, and they'll just keep doing it. Um, that's obviously for uh, cancer awareness, you know, type of thing. You know, all the students will wear pink, and, and um, you know, so they do it that way. Last year, I didn't get to very many volleyball games um, at home. You know, and, and last year they made nice room, you know, and, and so. And I probably won't get to that many this year either, so it is nice to see the um, Sophie saw me and was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, you know, and, and I was like, yeah, uh, you know, it's nice to see you. Uh, Sophie is kind of like uh, Avery personality-wise. You know, they're one of those kids that, you know, you just, you just gravitate to them. You know, you just love talking to them. They're such good people. I mean, all the way around. And they've been really good to my daughter. You know, they've you know, done a lot of always supporting me. It's, it's kind of unique because of it being a smaller town. That's a good goal. Get that, get that, get that. Ooh! Yeah. Oh, that wasn't me. That was, the set was just a little bit too far. Just outside the blockers, and just enough that the defender in the back couldn't get squared up behind it. <laughs> if nothing else, I know my geometry first. Oh. That's a long shot there for the Muskies. So they're fighting back here a little bit, 10 to 12 now. For those of you watching at home, obviously the Muskies are in there. Most of the comments are in the front court, I think. Up. Good up. A little good cross set there. Good dig out of the ground there. In the net. For the rest of the game. And looks like we had a party foul by the Burlington game. A uh, side of the walking over into our court. <laughs> so it looks like it's a tight game over there, 12 11. I'm not sure who's on it. That's us, by Oh, shoot. Yeah. Jeez. It's it's a tight game here. It's one two. It, so it is a tight game. <laughs> it over is there. tight game, yeah. So like up and sh look at that. I mean, that's a great save by Bicey, but I mean, Zilla came down hard with that, and Bicey got underneath it, but it was like such a spin on it. It was really hard for the girls and the comics to get out of that. It was really good on how to really good on both sides. Go to the serve. Now that's the girl I don't know much about. She's a transfer from Tipton. So um, I really don't know much about her. With me not being in every game and you know, stuff like that. It's, yeah, come I on, just, Toby. I just don't know much about her. Uh, that's my fault. We got a 12 13 game. A really good game. Man. Good volleyball. Up. Jansen cross the Look at that. I mean. Maynard. Maynard steps in there. That's one thing Maynard's really good at is just being right there 
and I've noticed that is, is like she finds little times where she just kind of pops up and tips it over her and she's really good at that. Well, it doesn't hurt, but I'm going to guess her wingspan's got to be oh my goodness, six, yeah, six and a half. She I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Time it's kind of like when you watch her on a basketball court. Mm -hmm. She's obviously she's one of the taller girls out there, but she kind of like glides when she runs. It's yeah. kind of like this like she actually reminds me uh, you know, sort of how she uses brothers, right? Um, you know, just kind of that smooth big yeah. thing, and then they just they have this confidence and it, like Ella, she just stops, shoots the ball, puts it in, it's like this little technical thing, right? Which is like what she just did there. At the front of the bank. Yeah. Oh. Rams are coming in for Zillick now. Fourteen off. Morales serving for Los Liberty. Another one. This is a third generation ball ball. I mean, the third one in the family to play ball ball. And uh, they are another, like, Vices, Eat, Breathe, Sleep, and stuff. I mean, that's, it's, it's, you know, like, everybody's got their own thing. And, and um, Cody's in for Maynard. And you know, so he eats softball, you know, and, and your son eats basketball, you know. And it's just, everybody's got their thing. He right? eats basketball. Well, he eats <laughs> You know what I mean? Which, shout out to uh, Mr. White and Mr. Dillon, who are actually up at uh, Ann Arbor West today, watching the second string Wolverines. <laughs> What's the score, anyway? I, mean, I have no idea. It's got to be, because Ferenc has got to put up 24 points a on that. Otherwise, oh, I thought that deal was 24 points all season. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, yeah. That would be good, too. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, it is 17-6 to 6 right now for the number 25 Hawkeyes with 10-13 left in the third. Yeah, and the Utah so. they, they are. Yeah. Well, we started out hot, but we've kind of fizzled here, I guess. Well, I'm going to guess. I'm not going to run all this out down for a while. They see me getting it over. And for those curious, uh, without head coach Jim Harbaugh, Michigan is up 30 to nothing against the East Carolina Pirates with 731. You know, and I am a Jim Harbaugh. I think he is a phenomenal football coach. He's a phenomenal football coach. He's a phenomenal human being. Yes. And, you know, I'll say this. And, you know, there's probably people that are like, why are you talking about Michigan so much? Well, because besides that, <laughs> you know, the thing that I enjoy about Harbaugh, I was never on the, you know, Harbaugh two years ago thing. Right. There was a whole bunch of oh, yeah. random crap that happened to the whole during COVID that just made it And horrible. that was COVID. You know, I mean, yeah, I mean, it was, right. But the thing is, I, and I don't even care about the results. That's a lie. Of course, I care about the results. But, right. You know, his philosophy is summed up with a new sticker that they have on their official yep. And it's attack every day with an enthusiasm and random impact. And, and that's what I think makes a hard on Harbaugh. And it's what makes all the teams. I watched the uh, Swamp Kings documentary last night. Listen, um, uh, the 2004 the Davis. Right. Well, right. The 2000s with Urban Mock. And, you know, you would think a guy like me would hate Urban Mock. I don't. Right. I, I think he's a tremendous coach. A little old school, obviously. Right. Uh, very militaristic. Right. Um, but he does that same thing. It's all out, all the time. Yep. You are going to leave nothing on the table. Nothing on the table. And I'll tell you, you know who uh, reminds me of that? I, I saw a little bit of that in some conversations recently. Coach Press. Yes. Yep. She's not going to... Sometimes that needs to happen, you know, and, and there's a lot of things I see here without stepping on any toes that I might not quite see. I mean, whether it's coaches getting their feet wet or in certain other 
circumstances. I'm not necessarily talking about positivity and saying other areas that I see where it's like uh, coaches might not quite have a grip on what their students need. Well, yeah, and it's it's And tough. that's one thing that's nice here is is you've got a coach that kind of sees that. Yeah, and she, she knows what she wants, and she yep. knows what the program needs, and also what the girls need long term. And that's right. the, the thing that I love about high school sports is it's a nice blend of you know, I, and I say this with due, all due respect to the law. You know, when you grow up playing Y ball, everybody gets to play and everybody gets to participate. When you get to high school sports, there's significantly less of that, but there is still the team, there still is the brotherhood, sisterhood, there still right. is a lot of that. But it also starts teaching them how to be truly accountable for right. what their role on the team is. Right, exactly. And what they're going to be, I mean, that carries over into a goal time. Thanks a lot, everything you're doing. And there is game one, 21 15 for the Comets. So, West Liberty takes game one. That's actually the first game the Muskies have dropped to them. And, you know, it's. And it's okay having to lose a game. It's, it's interesting to see how they got to I mean, what do we got up on Avery's shoulder over there? Oh, that's the profiles that we've done on each one of the girls as we can. Uh, well, there's really not much there other than her parents doing the very well. She plays volleyball and soccer. She's a... I was like, hey, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. So, but that's just more for the folks at home. Yeah. Toby's peeking over my shoulder at the screen. I didn't see what was going on. I didn't see what was going on. I didn't see what was going on. But we're also sharing those out on social media and uh, stuff. We made a little video of all of them for the girls. Uh, all of our sweet girls. All right, see how we can bounce back here. Uh, fourth game of the day for the most teams. So you know, we, after playing the three and then getting a break, you know, I mean, you might come out a little snap, you know, so to speak. So we'll see how they bounce back now after getting back in the flow of things, and uh, it is hard, you know, after playing three games, and then you sit, and then you got to get back up again, you know, I mean, it's... it's Some of us have a hard time getting back anyway, without the yeah, yeah, I agree, yeah. Yeah, so, but, you know, I mean, it, it's... What if you're having a hard time swinging down by the new chiropractor? There you go. I might want to send my kid there. You know... I'm going to do a little rain right now. My son, who went in, and I hate this thing that they have here. It's, uh, and it's, I hate the dead I hate it. So, I mean, there's nothing, I swear, nothing good to come out of the dead I, I mean, I'm sure there is. You know, I don't know. <laughs> but it's like, it's like you are putting so much strain on your back doing that. Well, even if you're doing it right, you're still putting a strain on you. Well, well, te you technically, every time you're lifting, you're putting a strain on you. Well, yes, but I mean, it's like, I mean, he ended up right. hurting his back. And then he had to go to Cairo. I'm like, oh. I said, why do you dead with me? Don't even do it. It's, it's done. What's it, what's it help for? And, 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 and I mean, I do. Cody with the serve. But yeah, I mean, it's just, it's the one lift that I have a hard time getting behind. I've never, I mean, I know a kid from Columbus Junction that was trying to break the deadlift record at Columbus Junction and ended up getting a hernia off of it. I'm just like, what are you doing? I'm like, he's six foot three. Seaman. And uh, how and that ended up in the third row. Ferrance knows him by name when they go to football camps in Iowa City, so you know he's got a future there. So why are why are you going? I mean, I, I don't know. Okay, I'm done ranting. I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> so Jansen serving now with a one to one game. Bicey up with a little tip there for that was Ramser. Back set there, nice back set. Oh, good back set to Ava, and then Ava found a spot there. In the I think the tough thing there is uh, Ramser went for it, and yep. I think Bodie would have been there underneath it. Yep. And it's hard to communicate there. 
you know, yeah. when you're both going for a ball, it's there's no time seconds. to communicate. Yeah. Yeah. Just like racquetball, folks. Yep. Good up. Ooh. Seaman mistimed that a little bit there. So a little miscommunication on the West Liberty side there. And Godzilla checking back in. Schilling for Ramser. Ooh, good serve. Good, nice block, block by Seaman. Great block. Too many crickets. They just find holes. Schroeder's checking on something. I mean, just to kind of give you a little bit of success that the West Liberty program has had. Is they got one girl playing volleyball at Drake right now. They got another girl playing volleyball at Upper Iowa. And they got another girl playing at Wartburg right now. So it's like, you know, I mean, oh. they, there is, you know, I mean, he, it is a successful program. I mean, and, and that's, you know, one, it's kind of like Muskeen softball. You know, you got girls playing ball everywhere. You know, and, and if you can hang rinse, with repeat, them, rinse, reload, repeat, right? Pardon. And if you can hang with them or even beat them, you've accomplished something. You know what I mean? Nice cross nice court, nice shot. cross court there. That was shorter, wasn't it? Uh, actually, I think about it in Jansen. Jansen. Jansen's been playing really well today. I would give her. I really like how she's playing. I mean, uh, unfortunately, from here, Jansen and Schroeder look very similar so with the long blonde ponytails. Yeah. Both wearing pants, too. Yep, so. so that didn't help it. No. Good dig there. Great dig. Oh, oh silly. silly. Tried to go across court with it. You know, like, I mean, she was. Like, turn it inside turn out. Turn it inside out. Yeah, that was, that's tough. That's tough there. I get what she was trying to do was because there was a hole there. She saw him before. And, and I think she could have just, if she could have just tapped, tapped it over. Tapped it over. Yeah. Yep. Oh, now party foul on the Muskies over into the Burlington court. They didn't even seem to notice. It's 13 all over there. And right here it's six to three West Liberty. And Bicey serving. Ooh, I got through. Nice to get through that block. There you go, Jansen. Good dig. Set. Good. Way to be there. Zilla goes up. Zilla. Good cross court shot. Really good defense. Seaman. To Seaman. Oh. Out. Just a little bit too much power there, Seaman. Where Burlington takes out Durant. In three, I believe. There you go, Seaman. To Seaman. Over to Schroeder. Nice cross court. Oh, oh wow. Holy cow. Great save on the other side. Phenomenal save. Seaman to Zillig. That's in. And that is in. When she gets up and gets a clean shot, <laughs> I mean, she. And There's once again, something about the way her shoulder flips out. out. It looks yep. like she gets like an extra two inches on what yeah. you would think she would get. It's just. Must be loose jointed or something. Wow. Little tip there. Uh, Bell didn't quite know which way he was going, I think. Yeah. And that's the one bugaboos that it used to be for, like, you know, West Liberty was if you could tip them, you could tip them. And I think they've adjusted a little bit now to where they, they play a little bit better on the backside there when you're going up. Because we used to go for blocks. So Cross court set to Jansen. Oh, Holy cow. Wow. That had some. Pounded that. Gee, even Christmas. That's great stuff there. I'll stay up here, folks. Good power hit there by Jansen. Good serve by Zillig there. Tipped over Schroeder to Seaman to Jansen again down the oh. line. Oh. And she took a little bit off that one and put it down the line. Great hit. I think the Muskies might have got away with one there because I think if they would have let that go, it might have yep. been a little bit long. But we'll take it. 
Zillig serving. Six to eight, the Muskies trail. That one's a little deep. How those Rams are checking back in? How can you? I just I don't know how you can tell that's going to be out. I mean, it, and and no. I mean, it must well, be just. It, I, I might compare it to racquetball. There you go. Where, you know, you're looking at a long serve. You're standing, you know, three, four feet in front of the back wall. Right. And it's just like, how do you know a ball is going to be high when it's a, when it's pitched? You right. know, it's just this, you get in the same position so that you know when it's a certain spot out there. That makes sense. Good, good angle there by Jansen, just a little bit too hard. Oh, no, that was a point. I thought they called that out. So it is a point for the Muskies. 9-7, Bodie service. Good serve. Help it. Back set to Morrison, and it's long. We do have Durant Williamsburg warming up on court two. Let's probably see in the background. Now. So I'm wondering, they're doing it again over there, letting them warm up. Wainwright with a little tip there. Well, Williamsburg just played at 12:30. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Attempted Would block it, well, there. No. Yeah, because they were on court one prior to yeah. the game. Yeah, so yeah. they got done a while ago. Yeah. Wait until after the point. Tipped up there. Almost found a hole. Good recovery there by Ramser Schroeder out of the back row. Good. Help it. Riley got her hands on it. Or no, that was Bell, I think. Nice work there by Jansen down the line. So. I think we're going to need the girls to put, like, something colored in each one of their hair. <laughs> because from back here, it's it's tough. Right? It's tough. It really is. Good. Now nah, that's a hit. Yeah. There's literally three long blonde ponytails and three long dark ponytails. Yep. And they all cover up their nose. Of well, course. Set <clears throat> bell. So Bodhi back to serve. 11-9 lead for the Muskies, and then a service error makes it 11-10. I like the way it looked like she was trying to do there, yep. and just kind of like, I'm going to call it like a junk ball, yep. or almost a knuckleball. Yeah, there you just go. Just right over the net to the opposite side. Ramser gets it up. Can't wait Back to hear what there for Seaman. Bailey has to say about my new observations. Good work there by the Comets just to get that going. Looks like another free ball here for the old Muskies. Jansen gets up. Good save by Morales there. Good dig. Oh. I'll say this, West Liberty, you know, there was about four, about halfway through that volley, there was a point where they looked scattered. They were extremely quickly. And they were back into positions and... And they didn't do it all in one one. Like, right. It was just like they worked their way back. Bodie gets it up. Seaman cross set to Seaman and ah. does get it down for the point. Rotor with their little soccer move with their feet there with the ball. Wait, did I miss us doing a soccer move? Uh, yeah. Sure. Good block by Wainwright. Wow. I mean, she was up for that. 12 all. Now we can't. Got to stay with them here. You know. so, yep. The comments are up one game to nothing. Yep. So critical for the Muskies. Got it. There's Bodie with a good day. Seaman with a quick set to nice. Seaman. Good Very hard. nice. And I think it would do a lot for the girls' confidence to just pull to pull this out. Right, like just to, get one game at least. Well, and to put yourself in the position to win. You know, we talked about that a lot in the basketball season. Yep. 
you know, games aren't decided usually in, you know, even the first half, right? Right. It's about staying close and putting yourself in a position to win and then learning how to win. Right. And obviously if they can oh, hang wow. with West Liberty and stay in stay in a position to be in the game. Don't get over it. Oh wow. Silly. Oh nice. Very nice. Way to see the core. Way to see the core. That's impressive. That was, imp I mean. That looked like a wicked changeup. Kid's growing on me. I like her too. She's, what about last basketball season? Oh, the girl I, did everything on yeah, the court. I loved it. I loved it. Everywhere there was a loose ball, there was yep. a zilly. Yep. Schroeder across the court there, just a little bit. Set was a little bit behind her. Not terrible. Nice angle. Back by set. There you go. There's another point for the Muskies, 15-12. Good serve. Really good serve. Free ball, free ball, free ball, free ball. Oh, so right idea, right idea. Something that I, just a little clarification. Obviously, they can pick the ball three times, correct? Mm -hmm. But if they deflect it going then for a block, actual, that doesn't yeah, count, that doesn't correct? Count. Okay. Right. Yep. So 15-13, Muskie's lead here. Service error. Makes it 16-13. Let's see Ella Maynard checking in for Bodie. Bodie, Bodie, Bodie. Bodie. <laughs> you get what you pay for with Discovery Must Teen Sports. Yeah, that's right. Close. There's Seaman. Oh, oh. oh, wow, was that thing ever smoked. It was, and... Riley did a great job of even being even able to get a little under it. Exactly. I mean, I mean that, that was smoked. 16-14. Seaman cross court to Schroeder. Just a little bit off on her timing there. Jansen, back set to Zillig. Oh, way. Good. If I mean, I wonder if she was in the net on the other side. Sophie, back set. Seaman, that's in. Great nice shot. shot by Seaman there. That that's beautiful. Now I think. Uh, who did you say number four is for the comments? Uh, what's the number four is Sophie Bicey. Okay, so I think what we should do is ask if our girls could do their hair like hers <laughs> because you can see her number because she's right. in pigtails. Right. So there's no braids going down over her number. Right. Yeah, that works. Or just cut their hair a little bit. That, yeah, one works. <laughs> or do you like silly, put it up. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. It's called announcer courtesy. That, that is the deal. All right. There you go, with Schroeder getting underneath it. Jansen. Oh, good work. Help it. Oh. Uh, and Lukowski takes a timeout. Timeout with 17 all. A couple calls aren't going our way here. Where a couple double hits, I think. We're getting where they're letting double hits get away. But, you know, we can't. If I could read lips right now, it would be great. You know, we can't let some iffy calls get to us. No. You know what I mean? It, and, and that's, you know, something that. Well, we've talked about it in right. every sport that we've played, yep. whether it's. Whether we, that we've announced together, whether it's baseball, softball, oh, basketball, uh, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know, you're not going to get every call. You're not, not going to get every call. No. 
And here's the thing, you're also generally not noticing when you might get a couple of calls. Exactly. You know, so. Exactly. And, and you know, and I mean, I had to bite my tongue so hard last night because of a late hit on a quarterback that my son laid you, on. You, folks, you all <laughs> missed the air quotes that went, that went with that. It's, it was. Holy cow. Is that Jansen? Yeah. But you don't, I mean, you can hit the ball as hard as you want, but you just don't hit it to the so. I mean, because she's going to get it. I mean, nine times out of ten. Leonard goes up. 18-17 lead for West Liberty. Cross court. Back set to Zillig. Oh, nice. Nice. Off the block. And I don't know how she does that because she looks like she's going this way, like going one way, and then she'll hit it the other way and still have something on it. I just, it's very rare. Oh, great. Little net serve there. That's a break for the Muskies. 19-18 lead. Let's not count on those. Let's, yeah. let's maybe, you know. Got a little break there. Zilla with the jump save. Mater did a great job of making her adjust. Holy cow, cow. Seaman. Wow. Wow. Just a bracket. That thing was. Now, her swing is a little bit more traditional where she'll get back, rare back, and let that thing eat. But it's. Zillig again? Zillig with a great serve. Oh, great. Great, great one on serve. Oh. And Ava Morrison answers. All right, we can't. We need Ramsey a side out. Checking in for Zillig. Zillig. Ramser. Good shoulder. Help it. Cross court. Ramser. Nice back Seaman set. to Seaman. Get Yo. on. Oh, man. Off the net. Good. Oh, good dig. There it oh, is. Muskies yes, that a, is. They take one game from the comments. That's just, that was, I mean, that's good Is that volleyball. Briley? That was Briley, wasn't it? Yeah, or was it that was, Bell? It was Bell. It was, it was Bell. Bell. And it was just. That was a tremendous. tremendous volleyball game. Well, and, you know, again, maybe this isn't as big of a deal as it seemed to me, but. Instead of setting it, she saw that hole, hole. and she just dumped. It looked like she was going to set it, right. and she just dumped it, over. dinked it over, yep. and that's uh, again. I'm not sure, but it looked like very aware ball. Yes, and very and very high court awareness, and that's what your setter the, needs to be able to do. If, that, if your setter can do stuff like that, it adds a whole other dimension to what the other team has to defend, you know. And, and I mean, as she gets older and as she gets, you know, better, and not that she's not great right now, but, you know, I mean, it's just, I'm just very impressed with where she's at as a freshman volleyball player. And the, the future for her is, is very good, you know. And, and that's not taken away from what any of the other girls do out here, but she's pretty darn good. Folks, as we take a quick break between games here, you'll see your varsity muskie floating across the screen. It looks like we're about ready to get game three started. And the muskies will get to serve. 
Well, that's nice of everybody. I think everybody should get to serve. <laughs> so it looks like we are starting off with Schroeder, Ramser, Bodie, Jansen, and Seaman and Seaman. I'm never sure if I should say Seaman twice or if I should say the Seaman sisters. I feel like it's not recognizing each one of them individually. Correct. That's if probably true. If I say true. sisters. Right. That's probably true. But then it also sounds weird saying the same name twice in a row. Right. That too. Folks, if you're listening at home, feel free to send us a note and tell us what you would prefer. There you go. Yeah. See what the, give them what they want. That's what we're about here at Discover Oh, West Liberty is serving. I thought Musk King was serving. Oh, help. Oh, man. How did... <laughs> it looked like it was just going to be get me over. What did we have going on there? What happened there? Uh, 16 is what they showed, but we don't have... I have no idea. Huh. Weird. Yeah, maybe it was a five. No, they couldn't show 16 with two pants. That wouldn't work. No. It must have been 15. Oh, help. Yeah, that's a bad spot to be in. Because no matter what, where you go there, it's... She's it's got time, time to adjust. Yep. I mean, the other side has more, no matter who's on the other side, has so much more that they can do in that situation. Ramser over to Jansen to Schroeder. Deep hit there. Bicey's going up. Little tip. Great. Wow, that great found the corner. Court awareness. Absolutely great court awareness there by uh, Jansen, and she'll go to serve. That's another thing about volleyball. You can, like, serve basically wherever you want. I don't know. Like, it's, it's not like shooting free throw. You know, you got to stay in one spot. You can serve wherever you want. Oh, wow. Good defense. Way to get that dig up. Oh. Now, is that a... So, is that a spot where the danger in those blocks is obviously you can't touch the net right but you've got to be as close as possible right and you, and you so, know and you got the hardest part on blocks is to learn to bend you know bend your wrist down because to I mean, control the block you're right to control the block and and when the ball's coming at you like that hard i mean it's really oh, oh great idea great idea great idea just not quite what you want I mean, she read it right. It was there. It's just didn't work out for her. Four to one lead here for the Comets. Cross set. Good there by Schroeder. There you go. So I take it the two in a row rule doesn't count if you are the person blocking it? Yes. Okay. Schroeder gets it over. She's trying to set it. That's in. That's just, I mean, really good spot. Timeout by the Muskies. I, five like to this, one I like this timeout by yep. Bailey. This is, you know, yep. you don't want to get, let this game get out of hand. You know? Well, and, and it's only to 15. So right. it's a little bit harder to, you know, I mean, if. if they get on a, you know, any, if they get any more ahead, it's going to be really hard to come back. You know what I mean? And not saying that they can't, but if they get much further ahead, that and it's really hard to come back with the rally scoring, right? Especially now. So. Uh, Morrison. Dad was a uh, state champ for West Liberty in wrestling. That's out. On the court for the Muskies, well, actually, as it uh, looks like Ramser is checking out. Yeah, Zillick's, Zillick's coming in. in. We have Riley Seaman, Avery Schroeder, Hannah Jansen, and Abodi, and... Oh, Bell Seaton. Yeah. That was a great serve by Bell. Help it. There we go. Nice block wow. by Zillig. You blocked 
one of the best volleyball players in Eastern Iowa. I mean, that's huge. I mean, to be able to do that, I mean, to get a block on her is phenomenal. Oh, oh great. Uh, and there's Seaman tried to get the kick. Just didn't quite get it. I mean, that was a deep hit, and uh, Bodie almost got it. Good effort, 6-3 now. We need to get a side out here. Back set, Seaman to Seaman, and that's it. Wow. You know, I mean. That was great placement. Yep. And that's really good stuff right there. Ella Maynard checks in for Anna Bodie. Bodie, Bodie. I like saying that, Bodie, Bodie. I don't know why, but. <laughs> Well, it's just a nice, smooth two-syllable. Yep. Ah, good hustle. Schroeder up, goes down the line, gets tipped. That no. ball had movement on it. Spin. Yeah, I mean, it looked like a curveball, like legitimately a curveball. Wow, long volley here. A lot of back and forth set up here, Bicey. Seaman. Ah! Yeah, carried it. Yep, she carried it. Good call. And it, you know, and, and that was a long volley for one point. Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And a lot of goodness on both sides. And good. Nice. Good shot there by Avery off the block. Perfect. Had a angle. nice deep angle coming yep, back out. Yep. Nice angle. That's a perfect angle. And just geometry says there's not win. much you're going to do with that. Nope, you're even, you know, even if you block it, it's not going to go back at where it came from. Right. Oh. Oh. So stick is out of play? Yeah. Stick is out of play. Then why even have the stick there? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's the game. You have to, it's like a basketball court. You know, you have to stay inbounds. You have to stay within the sticks. That's what makes it the game. You know, well, I don't know. I don't know. It See, like right there, she should have been out of bounds. Her foot was out of bounds. That's out, isn't it? I thought it was out. And yes, folks, I know that's how volleyball's played. It's just playing. Yeah. It's just playing. Just... Seaman. Over to Seaman. Back set. Zillig. Up. Good nice save. Blocks. There you go. Way to be there. That's one thing I will say they've majorly improved on is, there it is. They're, that's great job by Riley really just to thing. dump it to their first game. It is. I, like all no. day, they look like a completely different, different team. team. It is. And, and, and it's stuff like, wow. Great nice serve, serve. Isaac. Oh, um, got through both the blockers somehow. Rams are checking in for Zillig. Yep. So it's 10-6 now. What's the brief? Morales serving. Oh boy. That's tough. Oh my goodness. That is really good work. Right I have there. no idea who their libero is, but that yeah. girl Morales. Has, wow. Jesus. That was Wayne Wright. And, when and she gets up, takes another timeout. When she gets up, I mean, she doesn't get, because being a middle hitter, we don't do a lot of middle hitting. But when she gets up, man, she, she's she got a lot of power back there. Well, and she, uh, again, I'm not sure if this is a thing, but it looked like she had a lot of power in awkward positions. Yes. Like, you know, it's one thing to get to a ball and get under it a little bit right. in an awkward position, but then to still be able to put enough on it to get it back over the net or back to somebody else, right. that's impressive because that's all about speed and follow through. Right. And then, at least it is in right. sports I play. And, and that's impressive. And, you know, she works really hard. Um, good family. Um, she wrestles too, so... I mean, that would make sense that of this a lot of core strength yeah, there. Yeah, that strength you know. and awkward position thing. Yeah. Speaking of Lukowski. Nice. Nice shot. shot. Right down the Shout line. Shout out to 
Fred Lukowski, who I actually used to work with and is related to Coach Bailey Lukowski. Really? Yeah. Huh. We used to work at Krieger's together. We were, Bailey and I, I were talking know. about that the other night after the game. That's cool. Yeah, great, great guy. I believe she said it was her, I think she said grandpa's brother. Fred, I wouldn't think you'd be that old, but. Yeah. Seeming a little quick serve. Nice Nice shot. shot. Wow. Wow, really good shot there by Seaman. Uh, we're going to have to come up with another term for court awareness because I, I feel like I'm yeah. saying it a lot. But, but that's, vision. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was beautiful. Kind of reminded me of a point guard finding somebody cutting in from yep. the wing into yep. that open spot that they're not there yet, but, but they're going to be. Exactly. Great serve down the line. Good Great ups. job by Schroeder. Good ups there. Oh. Oh. Uh, Twelve eight now. Kind of do or die time here. For yeah, I, this is this is gotta, really crunch time now. You got to cut into this lead here real quick. Set over to Schroeder. Or to Seaman, I mean. Good work there on the defensive end. Vicey. Great block. job by. by is that Bell? That Bell was got Bell. Up. That was Bell. Bell got up and blocked her. And Great job getting it back down at a different angle. Yep. Did a really good job. Or it almost looked like her momentum was taking her, and she still got her hands up and got yeah, it down. Yeah, she was moving to the right yep. and still was able to Put get it, it down, down to the left. left. Yeah. Oh, good tip there. Great job, Pelt, getting down and underneath that one. Yep. Nice. That had a, a lot of front was, spin on it. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. All right, girls. 9 to 12 nope, now. No, 10. That's 10. Oh, 10 to 12 now. Yeah, Kelly's... Kelly must have taken a breath before she hit the button. <laughs> Kelly's normally on that stuff. So I'm not going to complain about our score. Oh, no, I was not at all. <laughs> not at all. Good dig. Ooh, nice tip. That's not going to have a ton on it. Seaman back set. Seaman. There it is. Oh. 11 to 12. You know, these girls have been playing volleyball for four or five hours right now. Yep. And look at Schroeder. Do you yep. see that? Like, coming off the court, just ecstatic. They've got energy. Yep. Well, and, and They must be vampires. Maybe they sucked all ours out. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe they're... I know that's what, that's what they say all kids are. They're like the energy vampires. You know, right. Vampire energy suckers. Right. I know mine is. <laughs> yeah. They suck the energy right out of you. Hey, you just got home. Can I go over to my friend's house all yep. the way across town? Yeah. Sure. Of course you can. Yeah, yep. Get walking. No, I can't walk all the way across town in the bypass. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Take your scooter. Maybe 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No kidding. You got an electric scooter? Go. Go. It goes like 20 miles an hour. You'll be there in like five yeah. minutes. It'll be a lot faster than me getting up and Put getting your helmet in the car. On. And <laughs> Back, oh, Jansen with the serve. serve. Good. Seaman. Over to Schroeder. Schroeder. Tries to go down the line with it. There we go. Oh, we, we are tied, tied up. up. Tied up at 12. We lose the first game, win the second game, and now and we're bring it all the way to 12. When you were down by six at one time, weren't you? Uh, probably somewhere in there. Ooh, Vicey got one off. 13 to 12. Well, we got something going on here with the head official at the table. And they're going to give him the point. I don't know what there could have been called there. I mean, I don't, I mean, nothing really I thought that could have been called any different. I mean, this is a good hit. And there you go, Jansen, good dig. Cross Over to Schroeder. Oh! Jeez. That missed by a ball width, yep. folks, at best. And Zillig coming in for Ramser. 14-12. Whoa, whoa, oh, we whoa, weren't ready whoa. Yet. Is that a violation? Is that a point? Now they're saying they're saying. Okay. 
Bodie, help it, help it, help it. Just get it over. Yeah. Oh. You know, wow. don't that hang was, your heads, girls. Wow, that you know, was. That's just good volleyball. That was great volleyball. It was entertaining yeah. volleyball. And, I, you know, I was, again, I was telling Bailey this when we were talking about the lunch break. I've never really watched volleyball, but holy cow, it's fun. It is. It's it, fun. It's enjoyable. Yep. And, you know, these girls, you see them pull. I mean, what other sport are you literally diving on the court? On a, on a hard court. Regularly. I mean, it's like every volley, every, you know, there's no question that they are putting it all out. And yep. you can see it. And, you know, just looking at their body language right now, you can tell they're right. disappointed, but they're not down. They're not which down. Is, which yeah. is key because yeah. it's, it's a long season. Yep. You know, they had a successful, very successful day. You know, yes. Going basically four and one. Right. Uh, Holy cow, how many games did we play today? Jeez. Um, three well, and one. Three yeah, and one. Yeah, because they, they each played four because there's five right. teams here. Yep. And uh, yeah, I don't I have no idea how the winner of this tournament is losing out. To that team. I mean, and that's no. not me. I mean, if I wasn't from West Liberty, I would say the same thing because it's just, it's West Liberty volleyball. And it's something that they've been good at for years and years and years and years. So, I mean, you know, they're ranked seventh for a reason, you know. And, right. And, and, it, and it's like to go toe to toe with them is, there's yeah, nothing it, to hang your head And about. it was absolutely toe to toe. It really, really was. I mean, the, the other thing that, geez, I like is they were down by what, five, yeah, six five there six. At, at that one point. Like, and then yeah. the next thing you know, we're tied at 12. 12. Yep. And, you know, you just said, you better get going now. It's yep. crunch time, right? Yep. And, and they did. They did. And yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't. It okay. wasn't meant to be. Right. But, man. It, it was. I'm very happy with how they did it today. Yeah, and I, I think much you know, better than what we saw against PV. Much better. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to sound like I'm not gonna. No, run, no, that was. I mean, it's, but it's you just know what? Much I, I'll better. bet the girls would even say that. Yep. You know what I mean? Like they just didn't look quite all there right. yet. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, and they look like a good, solid team today, and that is going to win a lot of games. Yeah. You know, and and. I'm excited to see what they can do here in a couple of weeks when we're back um, to see how much more they can grow and, uh, and get back, you know. Folks, I hope you're enjoying. I don't know if you can quite see what's literally coming out to get their picture taken, but they're sliding around in their socks. <laughs> uh, you know, the one thing I will say this, I say this often on the show uh, during sports broadcast, but if you have any opportunity to do something with high school kids, do it. Because they're, you know, you hear, oh, kids are horrible, whatever. It's right. a total crock of crap. It is. But every high school kid that I've met in the last four years is a good kid, kid. going to be a good human being. Right. And they have so much energy. They have yep. so much positivity. They have, yep. you know, I know you might say they've got naivety too. Right. But, but you'll feel better after being around them. Around them. Like, Yep. Just, you just, just feel good. Watch them, and that's, I think that's part of why I love Muskie Sports. Right. Is, you know, uh, across the board, our teams give it their all all the time, yeah. and it's, it's just great to watch. It's so, fun. It is fun. You know, so. Um, but well, like I said, wh I mean. What do you think, Toby? Should we hang out and watch the rest of uh, Williamsburg Durant over there? I'm going to go see how my MRI went with my kids. That's probably a good <laughs> idea. We'll, we'll get you guys updated after. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um, but, folks, thank you for tuning in with us all morning and part of the afternoon. It was fun. And I enjoyed it, it. It was an absolute fun time. Um, we will be back. Oh, I don't have my broadcast schedule in front of you. It's, uh, I think it's two weeks. Yeah, the girls will be back two weeks, and then we are at West Liberty. Or, pardon me, oh, not West Liberty. We are at Iowa City Iowa West. City West. Friday night for football, and we will be able to broadcast that in full live living color, Ooh. action, motion Ooh. pictures, everything. You're That'd have be to, perfect. I yes. watched a little bit of the other thing the other day on the football game. It, I, I got on and watched it. That's what you could do. It's, you know? it's cre it was creative. It was. You know? It took a while to get the rhythm of it, but, right. you know, it was it's fun. What, it, what we do what we can. Right. So, it is All right, it is, folks, but enjoy the rest of your weekend. Yep. Enjoy uh, 
some football today. Yes. And we will see you Monday morning for the Muscatine Today Show. All right. Well, have a good one. Thanks a lot for listening. This is Toby Lehman. And Chris Anderson, don't forget to attack the rest of this day with an enthusiasm unknown to mankind. Perfect.